What is going on? I hope you are well. I hope you are spending your weekend well. I hope you had an awesome week. I wanted to come and talk to you about the magic of your words and how strong your words are. But like always, for me and my little furry friend, if you can hit the like button so that way we can push this on the algorithm. Hit the subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so that way you never miss a vlog. Let's jump into it, all right? People don't understand the power of their words. They don't understand that every single thing that you say is technically, quote unquote, a spell. You're always speaking magic, whether it's positive or negative. There's always energy attached to everything that we say. There's always intention attached to everything we say. People that know me personally, one thing about me is I don't like saying, I don't even want to say for the video, I don't like saying the word that starts with an H. Anybody that I ever even hear say it, I always tell them, the second I hear them say that word, I say dislike, and then they'll say it again, and I say no, dislike. Like that word has too much, the H word has too much energy attached to it. And when you're attaching that energy to that word, it's most likely, uh, it's obviously about something that you dislike a lot, which we get it, you dislike it. But don't keep feeding that thing, don't keep giving that thing your energy, don't keep giving it your time, your your power, everything that it's draining from you because everything that you say, you're, you're providing energy to and you're giving energy to, which is taking energy out of yourself. So that's why it's very important to be aware of what you're saying. It's very important to think about the things that you're talking about with the people around you think about the things that you're talking about with yourself because there's nobody that we converse more with than ourselves there's no the the conversations that we have the most and on the deepest level with or the deepest level to or however you want to say it it's always with ourselves there's no deeper conversation that we can have there's no more honest conversation that we can have than with ourselves because at the end of the day we're always gonna be most comfortable with ourselves. At least that's for myself. I, I'm i obviously at just a point, at a point with myself where I'm unbothered about what people think about me. I'm unbothered about um, what anybody has to say about me. I've never understood, and I used to be there, so I can relate to it a little bit, but I don't even understand why I used to do it, but I don't understand why people doubt themselves because at the end of the day, like there's no, whether you look at Drake or you look at Michael Jackson or you look at Michael Jordan or you look at Michael Schumacher or Lewis Hamilton or Tiger Woods um, or Roger Federer, the elites of every area and every level, they, it's not like they were dropped on earth and they said like go and do that thing and you're going to succeed in that area of life easily and without struggle and without hard times and everything like that. They put in the work. They believed in themselves even when nobody else believed in them. They woke up every day and they gave it 150%. They did what they had to do to get to that level. They did what they had to do to keep growing, to keep pushing themselves. They spoke positively to themselves, I'm very sure of it. Whether it was through affirmations or through journaling or through meditation, I don't really know. I can only speak for myself and those are things that benefit me on a daily basis. I journal every morning. I meditate two to three times, bless you, bless you. I meditate two to three times a day. He's gonna sneeze once more probably. I meditate two to three times a day. I journal again at night. I try to listen to a podcast or an audio book or something throughout the day, just something that's positive, something that's not just music, because music, people also don't realize it. Whatever you're listening to and whatever you're absorbing, it's, music is the same as being surrounded by negative people. If you're constantly listening to music that's just portraying a negative narrative, if you're constantly listening to music that talks about drugs and killing people and just a negative narrative, it's gonna, your brain is absorbing that energy, your brain is processing it. You're not even realizing it, but it's affecting you. And I can guarantee that for those of you who maybe you have an idea that you're maybe affected by music and the music that you're listening to, go listen to classical music for a week, go listen to binaural beats for a week take subtract that music from your life or subtract something that you think could potentially be harming you in a negative way and replace it with something that could be positive and uplifting and stuff down that 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 pathway in that that realm I guess you could call it and I can guarantee you that you'll see positive effects I'm very sensitive to music I've spoken about it I'm very 
sensitive to the people I'm around, to the energy I'm around, which is why I keep very little company around. My circle is very small and very tight with people that I trust, people that respect me, people that know me well, and people that relate to me and have maybe gone through some sort of the same journey or just understand the area that I'm coming from and respect everything that I go through and stuff like that. I just try to always either be around good company or no company at all because I just think that the words that you're saying are very powerful, the energy that you're around is very powerful. Even the places that you're staying at, they carry energy, right? Which is why like, no matter where I go, anywhere in the world, I always have sage with me because I like to cleanse the energy. I like to cleanse the energy after somebody comes over to my condo, nothing even to do with them. I just don't like people's energy lingering around, so I'll sage my condo, I'll sage myself. Uh, when I was in a relationship, when me and my girlfriend at the time would come back to my place, I would sage both of us just so that way we're not bringing negative, not even negative energy, but just energy from other people, energy from our surroundings, energy from the conversations we had or the places that we were at that day. We're not bringing that back into the house and, and possibly contaminating our own space and stuff like that. So it's, you have to be very aware of the people that you keep around you, the places that you're going to, the, the stuff you're absorbing, whether it's music or conversations or, or content on YouTube or content on Instagram or whatever the case is. And just be, try to have as many positive influences as possible because especially with everything that's been going on in the world, it's very easy to get caught up in all the negative stuff going on around us and negative conversations and, and conversations judging people or judging things that people have done that we don't agree with, whatever the case is. It's very easy to get, I think it's easier to get sucked into a negative cycle than it is a positive cycle. So having that that core group around you and those those few people around you that, that keep you in check and you keep them in check and you guys are constantly pushing each other to level up in every area of life is very important. It's very important to, there's a saying that like, I'm, I'm sure most of you have heard, if you have nothing good to say, don't say anything at all, which it's less to do with other people and more to do with yourself. Because again, if you're saying something negative, it's most likely possibly to do with yourself, but you're probably judging uh, someone else or judging another situation or whatever the case is, which is just something that you, you want to try to live without judgment, not try to, to try not to attach labels to things to situations to experiences just take things for what they are grow from them if there's a lesson to grow from great if there's not then it is what it is it's it's in the past now and just don't focus too much on the future and don't focus too much on the past because neither one of them exists if you're focusing on the past you're probably living in a in a uh, a negative state and, and a not happy state of mind and if you're focusing on the future probably the same thing you're just probably like causing anxiety within yourself because you're thinking about tomorrow or the day after or this this thing happening or that thing happening which is going to cause anxiety it's going to cause triggers in your body that are unhappy and unsettling and I know that just speaking from personal experience so always trying to focus on the present moment and just trying to make every word that you you speak, every action that you do, every conversation that you have, every thought that you have as positive and as uplifting as possible and always attaching positive energy to that because like having a coffee in the morning can be a very spiritual experience. It can be like if you attach positives to that then it's a spiritual experience and it's a, an uplifting experience. Same thing with listening to music, same thing with the type of music you listen to, same thing with listening to a podcast maybe, or journaling, or reading a book, or, or dancing around for the first 15 minutes when you, still, when you wake up in the morning. There's so many different things that you can attach positive energy to, and positive affirmations, and positive thoughts to, that can really uplift you and propel you in the direction that you wanna go in. And if you believe you can do something, then you'll get it done one way or another. It might take longer than you anticipated, or longer than you wanted it to, but you can always achieve anything that you want to. There's nothing that, the, the only thing that separates the winners from the losers is the winners find a way and the losers find an excuse or they make an excuse. That's pretty much it. The people that are successful in whatever area that is, it's just because they didn't have a plan B. They didn't, they didn't give themselves another option. Well, if this doesn't work out, then I can go and do this. Or if this, if I don't do this, then I can go and do that. No, they said like, I want to become the world's best basketball player. I want to become the world's best author. I want to become the world's best race car driver. I want to become the world's best scientist, whatever the case is. They, they affirmed with themselves no matter what the people around them thought, no matter what the energy around them was projecting back onto them, 
they always radiated what they were going to become but you have to you have to think about it as off as if it, you're already living that as if you're already the the millionaire the billionaire that you want to be as if you're already the author that you want to be as if you're already the the scientist that you want to be you have to you have to take whatever you want to feel and be in the future and radiate that energy now feel it now as if you're already there and that's the easiest way to bring the future into the present moment and to be able to bring whatever you want into fruition and accomplish whatever you want because if you're constantly thinking about the future like oh i'll be happy when i do this or oh, i'll be happy when i lose that weight or oh, i'll be happy when when i read that book then you're always attaching a positive feeling to the future and never to the present moment but if you're feeling like you know what even if you need something to do with like losing weight like oh i'll be happy when i lose that weight instead like when you look at yourself in the mirror just imagine yourself already with that body that you dream of already with that physique that you dream of with the, the health that you dream of another thing is people don't realize that like you can actually speak disease into your life like disease dis-ease it means that your body's not at ease and and you're radiating a negative energy that's going to relate and come back into your body and it's going to show itself through disease which is how i i I, I know a few people who have literally spoken sickness into their life, whether it was wishing their family members to never have it, and if that anyone was to ever get sick, it was them, and then they ended up getting sick, or just always speaking negatively about themselves, or always having negative thoughts and negative cycles and negative patterns that they were too lazy to break, whatever the case is, they spoke negativity into their own lives, and they probably still to this day do or hopefully they don't and they've broken those cycles and those patterns, whatever the case is, but you can really achieve anything you want to through hard work, through constant belief and constant um, reassurance to yourself because you shouldn't really need outside reassurance. It just should come from internal. Happiness comes from inside. Happiness isn't something that you can go and buy, right? You have to find that inside of you and, and project that out. So I hope that this inspires you to look at life a little differently, To to maybe change the way your thought patterns are going and the people that you're around and the things that you're saying and maybe just be more in silence throughout the day instead of always just having conversations to occupy your brain and feel some sort of comfort from it. So I hope that um, you can push yourself in some area after this video to better yourself and be the best version of yourself that you can be. And I appreciate you watching this. I appreciate you guys being part of this family. Love you guys. I hope you have an awesome rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you on the next one.